This is The Truth, a series in which I play through games to find out what they're really like for a severely average gamer. Today, we're kicking the old pig skin about and we've got a very special guest indeed. So let's not waste any more time. Today, we find out the truth of FIFA 20 Legacy Edition. So I think it's important to set out at the start what your expectations are because that's going to change your opinion of a game. And I wasn't expecting this to be FIFA 20 as it is on PlayStation. I would rather them strip it back and make a functioning game that works on Switch because as we know, I've been looking for a football game on Switch and we haven't had much luck. So, now that's out of the way, let's get on and see if this is an enjoyable football game on the Switch. I've had a lot of complaints about Ultimate Team and stuff on this, but for me it doesn't really matter because that's not how I play FIFA. I'd probably play it more like an RPG. You know, create a character mode, take it through the seasons, some, like level him up, do the stats and all that. So that's what I did. I made loot. And we're lucky enough today to have him on board to go through it with you as a special guest. So what I'm going to do first of all is just give him a little bell, see if he's ready to talk us through. What right, geezer, thanks for having me, thanks for having me. No, no, thank you, thanks for coming mate, nice one. Yeah, no problem son, no problem. So I suppose you want to hear about the last two years, yeah? So pre-season, got a call up, everything was going swell, I scored a few goals pre-season and then uh, yeah, the gaffer, he sent me out on loan to Mansfield. And to be honest, you know, I was big for my boots back then, so I was a little bit hurt by that. What I did was I took it in my stride and I thought if I'm going to Mansfield, I'm going to be top scorer and we're going to win the league. I went down. We played out. We had a banging season, man. Banging season. I think I lost my accent somewhere. And yeah, I was, I was hammering them in, scoring the goals, scoring them all. And top scorer and we were you know well on our way to winning the league we actually we were you know fully unbeaten and it was it all going well but it wasn't enough so I wanted to make a point I wanted to come back and when I came back to Southampton I wanted to make sure I was in the starting lineup I didn't want to come back and be on the bench and get a game here and there I wanted to make a point you know let the gaffer know he made a mistake sending me out on loan for a season so I decided we're going to win the FA Cup. We took it to them, boys. We, we absolutely took it to them, you know. And, you know, we did, and we won the FA Cup, and I'm so proud of that. And the boys in Mansfield, you know, they're not, they'll be in my heart for the rest of my life, you know. So then we get called back to Southampton, and there it was. I was in the starting lineup, you know. We had some games started off pretty well. You know, we weren't expecting too much, but we, we knew we had a good squad. We knew we had a good side. And, I, you know, we knew we were going to do better than what people expected. You know, I would also just like to say Newcastle's ground with the shadows. That is a nightmare. You can't see what you're doing at all. I don't know if it's like that in real life. If it is, I wouldn't be a Newcastle fan because I'd do my head in. But yeah, season was going well. I was banging a few goals in as well. You know, not, not quite as strong as I was back down in Mansfield, but... Premier League's a different ball game, you know. Premier League is top level. You've got to be sharp, you've got to be on the ball. Get it? And, you know, we went on to outperform all expectations in the, in, in the season, you know. And we did really well, and we went from victory to victory. Top scorer in the league for most of the season, and then obviously I finished top scorer of the league, and I couldn't be prouder of that, you know. But the turning point for me was Arsenal. That was the big game of the season. And the ref, he made a few dodgy decisions in that game, but that was the match where we just found out that, that Gaffer decided to let Will Prowse go. So sold him on and, and it came as a shock to all of us. Prowse, he, he, he uh, it came as a shock to all of us. He didn't ever intend on leaving, but you know, everybody's got a price when the money's right, the money's right. There's no ill feelings between any of us in the players, but we were, we were shook, you know. He was our most consistent player, top rated for the season, you know. 
And that was the day we were playing Arsenal that we found that out in the changing rooms. Perhaps he wasn't going to be there. But unfortunately for us, Arsenal gave us that game. And that was the, that, that was the day we won the season, really. That was the day we knew we'd won it. When we managed to go on and defeat Arsenal and they did, you know, getting those, those red cards, penalties, they did gift it to us, but we knew that we could still do it without Prassy. What a story, doesn't he go on? As we all know, Southampton went on to win the league and Luke was the top goal scorer of the season. A truly, truly triumphant story. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the game. And what did we think of it? Well, it's not FIFA 20 on PlayStation. It hasn't got all of your modern bits. But if you're looking for a decent football game on the Switch, it's fun multiplayer. You can jump in and out. The season's pretty good for what it is. It's decent. It's decent. It's free loot boxes. It's free loot boxes good. And that's what it is. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe.